slow down. In a world where things are moving so fast and we can hardly find time to think, deep thinkers are people who naturally slow down to observe and think through. They are not satisfied with the superficialness of the world and so would rather take a different turn through careful thoughts. They may be considered weird or even proud, but deep thinkers would rather keep their mouth shut than speak when they have nothing to say. They may seem lost in thoughts, but deep thinkers are the folks who see future problems before anyone else does. They live inward and act from deep introspection. Although they may be comfortable with their own privacy, they also love to be around people purposely to learn from them. If you think you're a deep thinker, here are 15 signs to prove it. 1. You are introverted. If you find you are quite introverted, you love to spend time alone rather than being with others. You would rather tolerate your own company than the company of others. You are a deep thinker. Research revealed that the brain of an introvert is naturally high in cortical arousal. Thus, the ability to process information per second is higher than the average extrovert. The introvert processes information more deeply in the brain. The result is that if a deep thinker finds himself in a crowded environment with loud noises and movement, his brain cortical activity may get him overwhelmed and exhausted. Just because they are deep thinkers and introvert doesn't mean they are shy. Most introverts are not. They spend so much time alone and from there, they draw their strength and energy, not in the company of others. So, the crowd led environments to drain them. Others may need energy from crowds and people around them, but introverts only feel most alive when they are alone. Deep thinkers would often prefer to be alone because alone time is the time used to think deeply to nurture their ideas. 2. You analyze experiences. Deep thinkers have an analytical mind. They usually would analyze all sides before making a decision. It may usually take a while to reach a decision for a deep thinker, but when they do, they would have considered every side, the past, the present, and the future before they decide. They would analyze experiences and compare them with facts to get new facts and decisions they need to make to move forward. Deep thinkers embrace nostalgia but also love to learn from the past to prepare for the future. They have high imaginative skills and can use this to solve problems in their heads. 3. You look at things from multiple perspectives. If you're a deep thinker, you pay close attention to people when they speak. You observe their reactions and their views on matters. By these qualities, a deep thinker can see things from different perspectives. By that, he can communicate effectively with people. 4. You are naturally empathetic. Because they are good observers of people, deep thinkers tend to connect empathetically with others. They are often patient and they listen actively when others are talking. Thus, they are able to comfort others and give them support when they are discouraged. They also prefer reasonable responses to people's problems. 5. You are forgettable. Because they think a lot about a lot of things, it is not surprising to find that a deep thinker forgets things a lot. Deep thinkers focus so much on what's most important that normal day-to-day -day activities don't bother them. And as a result, they tend to forget things a lot. Don't be surprised if a deep thinker forgets where he kept his reading glasses even though it's right on his face. They would rather think about matters of priority than memorize birthdays and anniversaries. 6. You are curious. This is perhaps one of the foremost characteristics of a deep thinker. They are independently curious about things happening around them. They always want to know new things and are never tired of finding a new information. They are interested in learning almost everything from academics to history to government to science. This is why they can effectively engage with others because they have an idea about almost everything. 7. You are open-minded. Aristotle said, It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. You will never catch a deep thinker who is close-minded. They are often open to new fresh ideas and perspectives, often adapting to new ways of thinking and of doing things because they are progressive in their personality. This doesn't mean that deep thinkers accept every new idea as correct. No, 
but they tend to check all sides to realize what's right to hold on to. 8. You notice things others don't. Deep thinkers do not enter into a room with their brains in their pockets. Too often, they are quick to notice what others have missed. Deep thinkers think so deep that they can understand things about themselves, others, and circumstances that others have missed. They are quite perceptive because of their constant thinking habits. They could pick up on missing in a deal to observe when a person isn't comfortable in a meeting. This makes them different and such an attitude of observation is what one should have to excel greatly in life. 9. You can laugh at yourself. Although deep thinkers appear to be serious, they also do not take things too personally. They admit their mistakes and are forgiven. Also, they may have a good sense of humor. They expect interesting and unpalatable things to happen. So, they enjoy and love life while laughing at life's oddities at the same time. They are serious but do not take themselves seriously. 10. You read a lot. This is another priority of deep thinkers to read a lot. They are literally bookworms, always fond of books. If you find you are fond of books, you might definitely be a deep thinker because they are always open to learning new things that will make them grow. They read so much to absorb fresh information. They do not just absorb information for entertainment, they consume them to use them later in life. They appreciate the value of knowledge and put them into use. 11. They tend to be a bit scatterbrained when you aren't focused on your work. A deep thinker will find it difficult to concentrate on what isn't in line with his work or what he is living for. Some activities are just basically unimportant for them, like taking care of the house. They can tend to leave things messed up around the house or simply outsource the responsibility to some maid. Having a messed up apartment doesn't mean a deep thinker is lazy. They just focus on what matters and ignore what doesn't. 12. You love to learn. Deep thinkers are fanatic about learning. They not only enjoy it, it's what keeps them going and what helps them keep finding life interesting. They want to learn so much about everything as much as possible. They do not only study for academics, they equally enjoy learning for life and other life issues. 13. Problem solvers. Because deep thinkers are always thinking and seeking other perspective that others may not have considered, they are very great and effective problem solvers. They are not certain to make mistakes because they have thought about the various sides of the issue before them. They usually would have the solution because of their tendency to always think things through. They observe things in details and they can be sincere when they answer your questions. 14. A deep thinker doesn't care for small talk. Deep thinkers are not interested in small talks. They don't care about mundane matters like who has got a new car, who is the richest person in the universe, or who owns what or doesn't own what. They would rather talk about something much more important that helps them understand life and people better to better improve their communications and grow in their purpose. Deep thinkers will only speak when it is necessary to and what they say would usually make sense. They would rather be alone than talk. They don't get into needless talks and hardly ever gossip about others because they hate to indulge in those kind of conversations. They may seem proud and arrogant, but really, they are not. They just do not consider as reality what simple people consider to be reality. 15. You are observant. Deep thinkers pay attention. They have good listening ability because they love to learn. They don't jump into conclusions, neither will they make judgments without thinking. They love to have all the facts right before making any judgment. Deep thinkers are not distracted by what the majority are saying. They would rather tend to seek out information themselves to make a proper judgment of the matter before them. They don't make their decisions lightly. They check every angle before taking their steps. Deep thinkers tend to understand people well because they are much more observant always paying attention to things and people. They focus their energy on areas most important, which is why deep thinkers matter so much in the circle where they are found. If this video inspired you, like the video, we love you.